We are just one week away from the first day of Wake County's traditional schools, and the district needs to fill hundreds of teaching yeah. positions. Wake County has a program recruiting high school students to eventually become teachers in the district after they graduate college. CBS 17's Joseph Holloway tells us if that program is actually helping. The district tells me that 50 of its current teachers went through the Future Teachers program, including one that we talked with here today at Fox Road Elementary School. Asia Woody is counting down the days until the first day of school. I have put up decorations and um, all kinds of decor. This will be her first year in the classroom after graduating from college. She went through Wake County's Future Teachers program, where participants sign early hire agreements and are asked to teach for at least three years with the district. There's a lot of people who are rooting for you, and I think when you have those people in your corner, they're able to present you with opportunities that others may not know about or see. Wake County is one of many districts nationwide facing a teacher shortage, so a program like this can really be a pipeline for teacher recruits. The number of applicants went down during the pandemic, but the Future Teachers program saw its highest number of applicants this past spring with 45 people applying. They're from here. They're already invested in our community. They want to continue to see Wake County schools, their relatives, their friends, the people that they love and are important to them in their own lives continues to succeed. Sherry Morris is the administrator for teacher talent and retention. She tells me that 10 students are finishing up their degrees this year and dozens of others are working their way through the program. With so many teachers leaving the classroom, I asked how she keeps these participants engaged and wanting to do this. I do maintain regular contact with students. I do individual conferences with those, especially who are getting ready to graduate to make sure that they are on pace to offer that type of support. Woody says she has some butterflies, but she's excited for what's ahead. I'm very nervous, but not nervous enough to be scared. In Raleigh, Joseph Holloway, CBS 17 News.